Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a portrait photographer and I love helping other photographers build a business that they love. And I'm so thankful you clicked on today's video because it's a good one. I'm talking about how I broke into the senior industry. meaning high school seniors disclaimer I've said that before and I know it's not popular everywhere around the country and people are like you take photos of senior citizens not that I don't love them but I'm talking about high school seniors today so if you're wondering how do I do that how do I break into the senior industry you're in the right place and if you're thinking hey Michelle I just need to make a quick $500 or a $1,000 um, and you're wondering how you could do that with your photography I have a freebie for you there's a link down in the description box below um, where I share some ideas with you on how to make a quick $500 or $1,000 with your photography just to keep things moving along because we are still recovering from 2020 <laughs> so that is the reality and if you need a quick few hundred dollars in your photography business grab some of those ideas below for free now let's talk about the good stuff here we go Okay, let's roll it back for a second because I want to encourage you right now. When I first wanted to start taking pictures of high school seniors, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know any high school seniors. I wasn't a senior myself or in college where I could get some friends that I knew to photograph or model for me. I wasn't a mom with kids around teenagers age, you know, I, I didn't know any teenagers and I was like, how do I do this? How do I get seniors to come to me and want to work with me because all I could show in my portfolio was families and weddings and at that point I didn't I knew I didn't want to do that I wanted to get into high school seniors so how in the world I was going to do this and so I did my research as much as I could find and I kept seeing these model teams or these model rep teams and all that stuff and I was intrigued by them and I'm just gonna fast forward through a lot of trial and error and trust me it took a lot of trial and error but now that I have a well working oiled machine I can honestly say that I think senior rep team having a solid amazing one is the ticket to get into the senior industry I'm gonna give you 10 pros and cons I'll go through them quickly I promise that's so not forever video um, but to see if this is something that you might really want to do and if you're wondering exactly my first steps of how to get those first senior girls on your team I did make another video about that on how I started my senior rep team from scratch which I will link that video in probably a card here and maybe in the description box below but I want to first talk about you know why do a team and maybe why not to do a team and see if it's worth undertaking okay let's start with the pros because that's the fun stuff right so first you want to find a way to stand up from all the photographers around you right there are so many talented photographers especially in my area and it's really hard to stand out just with good pictures alone like these teenagers I love them but they tend to be a little selfish and they want something extra special right they want to be part of something really unique and fun and something that's not just taking normal pictures in tall grass or something like that a second pro is it's an easy way to get them excited about your work if you don't have a ton of seniors on their page where they can reference if you're offering like all these extra shoots or whatever you're offering for your um, uh, perks and stuff for your team I mean that is an easy way to get them on board without them having to like fully trust you necessarily like obviously they need to trust you but if you don't have a lot of social proof need to say like testimonials and all that stuff from other girls um, this is a good way to add extra value to them to get them excited to work with you number three like I think the biggest plus um, about working with maybe this age group that is if you have a good experience with these girls they can be the best word-of-mouth referral and all their friends are gonna want to come to you if they have a really good experience and their friend can't stop talking about it and a senior rep team is a really easy way to make a lasting impression and, and offer an incredible experience um, that your girl is gonna just naturally want to talk about number four is you get tons of content like you have go-to models 
for anything. Even if you have a small team of four or five girls, you still have ready and willing models that are excited about your work to, if you need to get new content or seasonal content, have little mini shoots with them. So you constantly have new stuff for your social media platforms. Number five, one of my favorites, is you can create a lasting impact with these girls. We all know what it feels like, uh, depending on how old you are watching this, what it's like to be a teenager and the pressures of wanting to look good and your self-esteem issues that you have to deal with and insecurities and we all know that a camera amplifies those insecurities. With my girls, they're with me actually about a year and a half and they have multiple sessions with me and each time I give a chance to build their confidence and it just creates such a larger impact and I feel more like their friend at the end of the year than I do just their photographer and it's something that I truly cherish and I it's like one of my biggest whys of doing this um, is creating more of a community and really being able to know these girls and, and that's what makes the pictures extra special because I know what they really love and what they don't love and it's just a chance for a greater impact. Number six is the way that I do my street team is it ends up being where I'm pre-booked like 95% for the entire year. So I almost fill my entire calendar up with my girls from my street team because they are all paying clients the way that I run my team. Even though I'm recruiting them at the beginning of the years when I do it in January, I know that they are paying clients and I am offering a lot of extra stuff of course, but I know for sure I have at least that many seniors or that many clients for the year. Seven and eight, they're kind of like go hand in hand. I have interns and BTS, meaning you have girls that love, at least they love getting their photos taken, Often I have girls that love photography too, and I know some photographers get a little iffy about that, worried that they're gonna, you know, steal some knowledge or something like that. And you can have a contract in place, but I don't see it that way. Um, I know how many years it took me to craft my stuff and get my stuff together. And even if I interned for a photographer, which FYI I did out of college, um, I still had a lot to learn. Long story short is you can have an intern. Um, some of them might do it for a class project or they might just be really interested in photography. And if you need someone to hold a reflector in your shoots or you need someone to film you for behind the scenes for social media stuff, maybe find one of your girls that are really good at social media savvy stuff. Let her take all that stuff while you're on a shoot and extra help and it's for free. And they're happy to do it because they love this stuff and it's often time with their friends and um, it's just a fun opportunity. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, the ninth pro that I wanted to share is you get to be more creative. We first get into photography for the creativity. Most of us probably don't even love portraiture. We just want some landscape photography or still life, but we quickly find that that might not be the most feasible way to make a living. <laughs> and then we get into portrait work and sometimes portrait work is really fun, but oftentimes we're doing those boring shots for the wall, right? We're not necessarily being creative. But one with high school seniors, you just tend to get to be more creative. They want more creative shots. And then also with a team especially, I get to do theme shoots throughout the year. So it's not just, their, like their senior session, I definitely am more careful. But for like theme fun shoots, we can do fun hair and makeup and styles. Um, I can really emphasize the wardrobe that I'm looking for. And I get to just be more creative, which helps me emotionally as a photographer. <laughs> and the 10th pro, honestly, is you get amazing feedback. It's really easy for me to get testimonials from my girls. I don't feel weird asking them about it because we built such a good relationship. And if maybe there's areas I can improve upon or maybe there's areas where I'm finding they're confused, then I can tweak those for my non-senior clients that I don't get as much interaction with because I know, oh, I needed more education here or I needed to make this more clear because if my girls that are talking to me a lot don't understand, that means these really cold leads are very confused. <laughs> so it gives me a chance to like make all my workflows amazing. So, so those are 10 ways that a senior rep team can be amazing for your business. Now let's get to the realistic side because there are some cons. Okay, let's get real. The first con is it's a lot of work. I'm just gonna give it to you straight. It is a lot of work. I think if you're gonna do a rep team, you really need to be focused on seniors, maybe seniors only. I, it would be really hard to take on other clients throughout the year, you can, but just know that in order to have a successful team, you are putting in work, a lot of work. <laughs> and number two is you are committed to that client for the entire year. So unlike a you know, one-time client um, or a family client where you just, maybe you're talking a few months of the year, 
if that, sometimes it's only a couple weeks <laughs> you're talking to a client. A senior rep team, these girls, I mean, you better be for be there for them the entire year and deliver over and over again all year long because they're committed to you and they've signed a contract. And if you end the year really bad or fizzled out or don't give them enough energy, it's not going to be a return on investment for the next year and you're gonna like slowly lose momentum. <laughs> okay, three, you have to be very organized. Anytime you have groups, it's basically like herding cats all the time. <laughs> Even like you always have girls that are on top of it and you always have girls that are procrastinating these Girls have to work. They have all these crazy schedules You have to be able to communicate what you want and times and um, so if you're not an organized person You'll definitely need some help or some kind of like project management software to help you keep organized Four, you need to deliver on your promises if you promise all these perks to these girls and you find you're like exhausted by October and you can't fulfill them, then even if they had a really good experience all those other months, if you drop the ball, then it's that's what the lasting impression is, unfortunately, and they're, it's going to be really hard to get those word of mouth referrals. Number five, do not expect these teens to market for you. Would word of mouth happen? Some of it will, yes, but do not expect them to hand out referral cards, to post all their images of like referring their friends to you. Do not expect that. I promise in the long run, it's just not going to be fun for you if you have to go check on these girls, make sure they're posting, making sure they're tagging you, all that stuff. It's just, especially this generation now, um, they delete stuff all the time. I mean, it's just a whole other world with social media. But I promise you, save yourself some heartache and do not require that or expect that or else you're just going to set yourself up for some heartache. <laughs> okay, six and seven. So... They kind of go together. Basically, it's just you have to communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Like, if you're not that kind of person, then you need someone to help you with that. You need to find a group messaging system that works for you. I personally use GroupMe, that works great. But um, just because I find that not all of them have the same platform for Instagram or Facebook. But you just need to say and repeat stuff over and over again and you need to give deadlines and you need to give far in advance notice for these girls to ask off work. All these things to be successful. You just have to communicate a lot. <laughs> and number eight, if you don't create boundaries in your group from the beginning, it's going to get away from you real fast. So communicate what you expect from them, what you expect from them with the other girls. Because um, if you don't be the leader in that, like you really need to lead these girls. It's just not going to be a program you're proud of. And then number nine, getting into that, like you need to make sure it's a safe place for everybody. Um, there are different ways. I know people do it with applications and all that stuff to try to get the right girls on the team. And it is hard. It's not always a perfect system. You just really need to iterate to the girls what you expect from them and how they treat other girls. Because anytime you get a lot of group of girls together, there can be drama. And you need to have some like, systems in place or rules in place of what would happen if a girl felt uncomfortable or was hurt feelings look hopefully none of that happens but um, it's just that's how relationships go especially when they're spending lots of time with each other you want to make sure that all the girls feel like they've gotten a fair fair exchange with you and a fair exchange with each other and just keeping a positive environment at all times can be very tricky. Okay, last con, it's not that bad, but you have to be able to communicate with the parents as well. So because these girls are minors, um, you should be having the parent in the loop at all times for sure. Um, but again, all there's different relationships between mom and parents and communication. Like just as much as you communicate with the girls, you need to be communicating with the parents. I communicate with the girls through like texting and a message app and I communicate with the parents through email just so that they're always looped in. So just be aware that if you're going to take on a team that you are going to be communicating <laughs> all the time and you need parents on board too. So after hearing all those pros and cons, let me know in the description box below if you want to still take on a senior rep team because I'm going to be breaking down more of what it looks like to have a team if that sounds like something you guys are interested in as well as if you want that quick cash injection freebie where I give you ideas of how to make a quick $500 or $1,000 in your photography business, grab that with the link down below for free. And thank you again for your time. I hope this was helpful and hopefully a little eye-opening. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.